Hi, this is Jeff Heaton. Welcome to Applications of Deep Learning with Washington University. This is Module 8, Kaggle Datasets, Part 2, Iris as a Kaggle. There are many, many examples on the internet of how to construct a Python code for a Kaggle composition. So you can certainly find examples there. But what I did here is I, cr I took the Iris data set that we had been working on before and just constructed it like a Kaggle so that you can see how to create a Kaggle submission from it. I created the Iris, I took the Iris data set, the 150 items, and I created a test, a train, and a sample. This is like you will see for the class uh, assignment. Now this Iris is a classification problem. So the class assignments can be either regression or classification. It just depends on what semester it is. So if this is regression, then you need to convert this to a regression problem. And usually I choose regression for my um, assignments in Kaggle. That, that way you have to do at least some conversion to, um, to, complete, the, uh, to complete the assignment. And you'll have to get creative with your feature encoding and, and other things to, if you want to try to rank consistently higher than your, uh, than your classmates. The assignment um, outranking your class classmates is primarily bragging rights, uh, but it can be useful. I have in the past been asked to write letters of recommendations for students and if you happen to be one that got in the first or second or third, that's an interesting story that I, I can write on there. So, uh, but it, your grade is in no way tied to your uh, submission standing. So let's look at the train one. So this is Iris. This is what the CSV file would look like if you were to download it. It has an ID. Uh, the ID on the training set is really not useful for anything. You'll want to remove it, but it's it's used in the Kaggle master solution file to keep things apart. These are your four measures of the four for each flower, and then that's the species. So this is the training. This has the species column. If you look at the test one that I give you, this is what you use to form your submission. So ID is 100, 5.934, but there's no answer column. What you need to do is take this, keep the ID, strip off these, and put the answer in. So even the one for the, the class assignment, you will probably just have, if it's, if it's regression, you're going to have just the IDs and a single value that will be the value you're trying to predict. If it's classification, then it depends on how many classes you have. Say you have four classes, you'll have ID and probability class one, probability class two, class three, class four. So that's just what your data will look like. Sample submission, usually Kaggles give you a sample submission, I will too. This is essentially what it looks like for a classification. So ID, and then these are the three columns like I, um, like I told you. And this is an actual um, submission file that, that the code below will, um, will generate. Now I didn't set up an actual um, Iris Kaggle, so you, you can't really submit this, but this is the idea. This is what a Kaggle submission file looks like. So some important features, the IR speech is already index encoded, so I already made it numeric. Your training data is in a separate file, and you will load the test data to generate a submission file. So here you'll see that I load all three of the files, and that I encode it. That's where you need to get creative. Use feature engineering, do different things. Try to get your score better than your fellow classmates. Number of classes, um, that'll be three. And then we essentially train it. We use early stopping and we, um, um, and we train it. I'm gonna move that up just a little so that it's consistent with some of the others. 
Then we print out our log loss. So this is, let's see, this should run. I ran the stuff at the top. So I'm running this now, little star is going. Okay, it's complete. I can print out, ac normally we do accuracy, but we'll do log loss. That's a very good log loss. So I'm sure that's probably a 97% accuracy or something such as that. But if I gave you a Kaggle competition that is a, a classification, you will be ranked probably in log loss. If it's regression, you'll probably be ranked in RMSC. But definitely look at it to see which one you're actually being ranked in. Then we generate the Kaggle submission file. Make sure that you encode it the same way that you did up higher. Otherwise, you'll get mismatch. You'll get something like expected array of size 23, but got array of size 22, or something such as that. So we, we do that, we create our submission, we predict, we create our submission file, we put the IDs back in, and we rename the columns. So I inserted the ID at the very beginning, and I rename the ID species 0, 1, 2, and 3, and this, this generates my uh, submission file. And that's what it looks like. ID species 0, 1, 2, these species 0, 1, 2 came from basically changing the predictions into a data frame. Then I inserted i at 0 at the beginning, id, and then rename the columns. If I don't rename the columns, they have very dumb looking default values. So yeah, id 0, 1. You want to name the columns what, I, what the Kaggle competition specifies that you should. So this is Iris as a uh, is a classification problem and as a Kaggle you could take that submission file and submit it if I had made Kaggle your competition for this semester you'd be done but I won't do that so you'll need to adapt this probably to a regression maybe a classification for each semester I'll talk more about that in the weekly update and the uh, and the actual assignment video which will be part three which comes next